Hello ladies and gentlemen, Legend Commentaries here bringing you today Road to a Higher ELO Season 2 Game 3 and you may be asking yourself where was Game 2? You said you were going to post all of them, why are you making yourself into a dirty filthy liar Legend Commentaries? Well, I'll tell you why. Once again, as you guys may have seen in my Vigar commentary, the file was corrupted. Only this time it wasn't just the end, it was the entire thing. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. Um, so that file was unusable, the whole thing was, unfortunately. Uh, we did lose. I'm not, I'm gonna being completely honest with you here. I lost a ranked game. Um, it was, we had an AFK, so not completely our fault, but it also wasn't too much fun. What do you, what do you want? What, why would I run down there to protect you? You have four people, they're not ganking. Oh, what, what do you want? God, all right, I'll guard race. And then I can go up top quicker. And then you stay there because you're mid. I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of jungle ganks recently. Maybe it's a maybe it's a common practice and we really need to be on guard, but let me just stealth here. Bam. But like I was saying, uh, I'm actually going to start doing live comms for these, so don't expect many more actual live comms. I'll kind of be doing this. Um, going through my point of view. Who has clairvoyance? Ah, Ollie Star's running clairvoyance. Okay, he already used it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, starting wolves. All right, buddy. I can. I think it's safe to say they're not ganking, guys. Let's let's get the lane here. Alrighty. So once again, playing Teemo, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hopefully you guys will not mind the live calm style. Oh shh. No profanity. I'm trying to stop. Trying to stop using the profanity within games. It's it's a little less than flattering. I understand. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. That was awesome. Thank you for getting in the way of that last hit, buddy. There we go. We'll do this. We'll harass. Uh, so, something that you definitely want to do in every single rank rest the, the ranked game is to harass constantly. I'm going to kind of do that with my Toxic Dart. It's fairly easy to get last hits and harass at the same time. Especially because you get that extra damage to harass with on the Toxic Dart. Gotta move quick there. Awesome, pro Ollie Star. I'm I'm liking this, liking this. As I miss my last hits, not seeming very professional myself. All right, guys. I see how it's gonna go. I really is regen is terrible. I hate it. Very hard to actually hit against her. Maybe once I get a, I mean, once I get a blinding dart, of course it'll be a little better. But right now, toxic shots gonna have to do some work. And I start out with a door and shield once again. Uh, some of you guys didn't really like that decision, but as you can see, it's working pretty well. Um, of course, they do have a jungler, a jungle Lee Sin, so I definitely don't want to push up too far, too fast. What does she have right now? I should have checked that earlier. Regrowth pendant, awesome. That explains a lot. Maybe I'll zone you a little bit while you're being a dick. It gets pretty difficult when you have all these minions up here to actually keep tabs on. Oh god, why? Oh, her, my poison, I forgot. Christ, it's dumb. There we go, get that last hit. Um, so yeah, until I get level 6, I definitely don't want to push up this far. I'm going to kind of try to just last hit and let her get some last hits so that I can push my minions back. We are definitely not in a good situation right now. And her regen is ridiculous, so... She has that a few times, and now she's full health. Sweet. So we'll let this push back to mid, and I'm always going to be constantly watching for Lee Sin on that bottom part of my screen. I think I just felt some lag. Hopefully I don't get too much. That would make for not a very fun game. Realistically, I'd probably be XP blocking her right now. Maybe I'll try doing that. That's another good thing about uh, doing the whole live comm thing is it forces me to focus on the game quite a bit more and uh, examine kind of what I'm doing. Hopefully, it'll give you guys some more tips as well because when I'm focusing on the game, you guys can focus 
along with me and give me tips as I go. You know, uh, please cite specific instances in the game where I'm doing things that I should not be, and I will try to improve. Um, this is not going to be so much me giving you tips. This is going to be you guys giving me tips, because I know that a lot of you are better than me, and I am perfectly okay with that. It certainly doesn't upset me one bit. Um, but, uh, you know, Teemo so far, I'm thinking actually late game, he, or higher ELO, if I get there, he is not going to be viable. Um, as you, uh, many of you guys said, I, I didn't really believe you, but now I definitely do. Late game, he's just not the powerhouse that he is early game. And I do still think he's really good early game. I'm not going to lie. I, I think that he definitely does his job. I need to be watching for a gank here pretty soon. He's had enough time to do that. Oh, awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Do that. I'm out of here. Okay, let me do one of those so I don't get ganked if I come back lane. That was a pretty good first attempt here. I'm going to go back. I can get a Doran's Blade as well as some boots and maybe... Let's see, what can I get? Uh, I'm going to go Merc Treads. I could get full Merc Treads. I think I'm going to get one of those. Some of those. And we will maybe wait a few seconds. Yeah, I'll wait a few seconds till I can get my 400 for this Null Magic Mantle. Uh, she does do a little bit of magic damage, so it's enough that I might as well get that little uh, 24 magic resist, and it'll give me one more step on my way to my boots. Um, if I was playing any other champion, as some of you guys may be, I would definitely pick up some sight wards there because they do have a jungler, and I want to be constantly on the lookout for that. I'm going to call my Mia uh, Irelia so that my team knows. don't want to get in trouble. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is put a mushroom here, a mushroom here, and then a mushroom here, kind of prioritizing by bush, of course. Um, and I'm also going to work on harassing her down. Now that she's actually pushed up onto my lane, I can get these last hits. I'll kind of attack a little bit more frequently than I was. That. Excellent. Come on. There we go. That one. This is kind of just the art of last hitting on a turret. You want to always keep the uh, the big tank minions that go in the front. Take two hits by a turret before you can actually hit them and kill them. The smaller minions, you want to get in one auto attack, unless you're someone like Teemo who has some extra on-hit effect. Um, you can get in one auto attack and then one turret. And my mushrooms are building up here. I need to run over and put that in that bush. Don't want to leave for too long. But while they're focusing on that tank minion, I shouldn't be able to miss this last hit. Get back in time. Perfect. And then I also need to, next time one is up, go ahead down to that river bush and get a mushroom in there. So I can constantly be watching that. Last hit wise, 39 to 25, doing pretty well. Missed one because I was checking the last hit score. That's kind of ironic, but feeling pretty good about this game so far. Um, we're not feeding by any means. 4 to 1 team kills. Um, the early game is definitely where, like I said, Teemo can shine as a champion. And Let's see if she comes down here, then I know he's... no, nope, he's not there. Alright. Uh, which is one thing, if she started being really aggressive when I was running down there, I was definitely going to turn around and come back. Now I'm going to get up and start harassing her a little bit more again. Not let her get her foot in the door, because as soon as she gets that uh, ultimate off, she can chase really well, especially if she gets you low health. Um, I definitely do not want to be put in that position. What's going on? Red buff. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go ahead and close off this exit. I have one in that other bush, and I have one in this bush as well. Uh, Vigar and I are going to go ahead and move on in. He should be going through that bush pretty soon. Maybe not. Maybe not. We need to have someone over in this jungle right now to help attack him. Um, I do have both of the exits. There he is. Got hit by my mushroom. Um, I'm going to go back up here and kind of harass I really down a little bit more. And put this here. Just kind of extending down that river is what you want to do really early game. Um, because she is not being super aggressive. She just can't really be right now. Um, because I do have that blinding dart. It's, it's pretty hard for her to actually do anything. Late game she will definitely be able to do stuff. Because even though I do have my exhaust as well. She's going to have a lot more attack damage. And right now with only the boots and the... Philo stone, she doesn't have too much damage. Oh, one hit away, that sucks. Go ahead and do that. Uh, Mia Irelia, I'm going to call that. Three, 
I'm gonna go ahead and speed over here. And if he comes in that bush. Good job, Lee Sin. Way to get way to get shit on. I mean, pooped on. Sorry guys. Sorry again. Alright. So I really is kind of escorting him back there to keep him safe. That means I can come up here and continue to farm. Uh I really am Mia. I really uh and Mia. And I'll go ahead and get those. Enemy has been slain again. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my harass up this time. I've been kind of slacking on that. There's my toxic dart. So I can get a little bit more attack damage in. Hopefully you guys are kind of just watching this for the gameplay and not really for the pro tips. Uh, I know I made it sound like I was going to, you know, give you guys the key to getting to a higher ELO, but I have realized over the course of time that I am actually not that great, so I can't really give you guys tips on how to be great. That's why I'm kind of asking more for your input, rather than me just preaching to you guys about everything. Go ahead and do that. She is building hardcore regen. I am not liking this, not one bit. And that's going to tick on me again. Is she really using her ult just to get freaking... Okay, you just stand there, I'll get you back down again. Whatever. You do what you want, girl. Put that up there. Uh, what I'm doing right now is just covering, a, a, getting a nice spread on these bushes. I'm also going to start working down um, towards their uh, river again, towards that mid location. Making sure that every time she charges in like that, I'm here to get her back down. And now that I also have that coverage on mid, I can uh, safely kind of XP block her because I'm not too scared of overextending. Uh, of course, Lee Sin can always come up, and he moves pretty quickly with that teleport to whatever target he has spell. But I'm not too worried about it. I have enough coverage uh, far enough down there that I don't think he'll be able to get a really good gank off. should be able to actually go back and get boots and malady and stuff pretty soon so that'll be nice a nice addition to my arsenal she's still got that poison that's getting kind of annoying but it does damage so shouldn't really call it annoying okay so apparently Zin wants to dive Irelia on that turret which is not a good idea but you know we've got enough team kills I guess has he gotten fed he has not... yeah, a little bit. He's got two kills. Okay, why are you doing this? Ready, wait. That makes so much sense, Sinja. Thank you for that. Red's almost out. Got it. Nice. Zin, no! No! Oh well. At least we got the kill. And it was kind of his decision to dive anyways, so... coming in here. That's cool, Cho'Gath. Awesome. Let me just leave some of those for you behind me, and then I'm going to actually run down here so I can cover, just in case anyone tries anything funny. Don't want any funny business going on. We'll go ahead and put one of these right up here for when he spawns. It's always just a good idea to get in the habit of placing those whenever you can, I've found. But uh, for those of you not playing Teemo, that won't really be a problem. I wouldn't place a ward there that early, certainly, so don't really need to worry about it. Oh, Leeson. Hello, how are you, sir? Alright, so I'm actually going to be pretty soon. I need to get some boots and whatnot. What are you doing, Leeson? Get out of here. Just get out of here. I'm going to put that there again. I really, uh, you're back. How are you doing? 
get some more last hits. And I'm trying to leave at the most opportune of times, not trying to leave when there's a bunch of last hits to be had. Don't know how successful I'm being with that. I haven't checked the last hit board in a while. Missed that big minion. That sucks. I think I can... Once I get my malady, I'll definitely be able to two hit these minions, which I actually think I can right now, but... Uh, like you guys have probably noticed, I've stayed top pretty much the entire early game. Pretty much how I play Teemo. Um, you kind of just want to farm up, stay here, play conservative, because you can hold this turret forever. Um, you know, even if their whole team came up here, if you have enough shrooms, you can. You got this n whole network laid out, and it's definitely a good position to be in. Um, I should have enough mana now to put one over here, just in case, you know, crazy stuff happens. You never want to be out of position, um, especially when you're really low health and then have them come through that jungle, so that'll help a little bit. Or if anyone's ever running away from me, you know, dive and I go after them, we will have a little bit of an advantage on our side. No. Get it. Get it. Damn. Almost. So like you guys can see, I'm just kind of, every time that she looks like she's about getting ready to charge in, I, I kind of move forward to XP block her. Which I'm, I'm having a really, I don't know, hard time getting my head around. I, I can't seem to want to stay in one place in front of the minions for a long time. Um, and of course I can't really do much here because it'll aggro the turret like that if she has poison on her. But it's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Hopefully Zen will come back and try to gank again so I can get another kill. And then he can probably die again because that's not a smart idea. I certainly wouldn't recommend the whole turret diving thing in ranked games. That is just in general a terrible idea, but whatever. Um, so I've got three mushrooms, a terrible thing to do on Teemo, but I'm running out of mana pretty quickly so it's not like I really have that much of a choice. I'm actually going to be... Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up boots, my malady, uh, get my magic's razors, and go ahead and I'm going to build into a blood razor very soon. That actually worked out really well, as in timing of gold and all that kind of stuff, so. Very, very opportune timing, I would say. Oh man, this gives me an excuse to talk to myself while I play. I always want to, but I always sound crazy when I'm just like in my room, chit-chatting away. Shooting the breeze, hollering, as they as we say in the sooth, chit chitting. So there's that malady going to work, getting that ability power, the attack speed, the armor shredding effect. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and push these minions back. I really is missing again, and yeah, now I can two shot these minions. So that is definitely a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. And notice how I'm moving up my movement speed first, just because for the position that I'm in right now, I want to have the most mobility at all times that I can. Especially when Lee Sin begins getting to the point where he is ganking much more frequently as I start pushing this turret, because now that I have the durability to do so, I'm definitely going to continue. And I'm just going to kind of sit here and attack her a few times, and she'll come back up, and I'll probably attack her again. And now she's already half health from just some toxic shots, so hopefully you guys are getting the general feel of you know, why I like playing Teemo so much. He's so easy because he has all those wards, which is really the only thing that is going to um, keep you from getting to a higher ELO early on is not having those wards. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and she's going to come on to me, and then I'm going to... She's going to come on to me. Yeah. Yeah, I really... Uh, come at me, bro. And I really shouldn't be auto-attacking, but at this point I feel so comfortable with the ward edge that I'm just doing what I can to push this turret. Vigar, what are you even doing, bro? Oh, that's what you're doing. Haha! <laughs> Blinding Dart is victorious once again. And it's always nice to get those procs from Madrids as well. Oh man, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
So he was over in our jungle, but I think I'm just going to keep spreading the shrooms up this way and actually move to help out bottom a little bit. Get some wards going on here. And Zen and I, if you want to go on up, I have exhaust. He'll start running back, hopefully. Or Zen can just take him on. That works, that works. Kind of wanted an assist, but whatever. I don't need it. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking like this is going to be pretty much GG. Um, I'm 3-0, and zero, it's 13-4. to four. I feel kind of bad for the other team because it seems like they had a feeder. Um, that Ash is definitely not playing a very good game, but you have those. I had them certainly in that last game with that AFK, so kind of sucks, but whatever. It happens. You win some, you lose some. I certainly did lose some. Uh, I was hoping to get a 100% win with Teemo, actually. Uh, that would have been fun, but... Oh well, oh well. What are you doing? Do you want to go in and get in Zinja? Is that what you're doing? You're trying to dive her? I'm getting some lag here, that's no fun. So as you guys can see, I really is really not that great of a combination to use against Teemo, um, especially not early game, especially because I can just bam, then I take one hit, but having that Doran's Blade and the Doran's Shield and all that good stuff definitely helps to maintain some durability, which is what I've been saying all along, that's why I use it, but just wanted to reiterate that Doran's Shield is definitely the way to go if you want a really strong early game. Sure, it's not the most risky, but as you've seen in this, patience usually pays off with some really nice kills. Oh, okay, we're going. That works, that works. Got with my poison. So now 4 and 0, I'll take that. I will take this game any day. Just stay. You can die, don't worry about it, man. Just a turret. What do you have to worry about anyways? Cool, bro. You know I have flash, right? So... Sucks, bro. Sorry. Didn't mean to flash right on top of you there, but it kind of just happened. So I'm now 5 and 0. Alright. Waffle? What is he talking about? What is this What is this code code language I'm not familiar with? Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of staying here to build up that health again because I don't really need to go back. I could to get my blood razor, but uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and go back. I got kited. Forgot about Teemo's blind. You forgot about one. Now that's something I just cannot forgive. How can you forget about Teemo's main ability? I mean, Toxic Shot, of course, is important, but um, as far as blind goes, I mean, that's like Teemo's. He's an anti carry. Anti carry, I should say. But yeah, I mean, don't forget about. Whatever. They, of course, are not the most skilled people. It seems like 0 and 8 for Ash, so that is definitely no fun for them. 1 and 4, Irelia. Uh, she didn't play terribly, but. I just kind of destroyed her because she's melee and I'm I'm ranged and I can harass and I adore and shield. It's just three stacked phages. What? Who has three phages? No one. Who? Why? I don't know. I'm gonna stop asking questions. It's sometimes it's better not to try and understand your team when they're talking like. Phages. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm not going to even try to explain it to you guys because I, I don't get it. This Ash should be fairly easy to kill. I'm thinking about being more aggressive, but then I'm also thinking, why well, run a flawless game? You know, especially in ranked. Why do that to myself? I could kite them through this jungle if I build up enough shrooms. Just come pop out here, take out some minions, entice them to come and attack me. Perhaps they'll come from the other direction. I actually just played a game of Dominion before this was Heimerdinger. That was fun. That was fun. I'm liking Dominion. Liking it, liking it, liking it. I'm kind of laxing on the whole, uh, laxing? Is that, is that a, yeah, that does make sense, but I'm relaxing on the whole ranked talk because I'm pretty sure this is GG. I don't know why they're really holding on. I guess it's kind of like one of those things where you have someone on life support and you're like, I don't really want to let go yet. Because there is still a chance, you know, they could come back late game and someone figures out how to hack the League of Legends servers and give themselves a million gold, that could happen. That could happen. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to continue securing this jungle so that I can d dominate whoever comes through here. Uh, let's see, I'll put one in this path. This was my favorite thing to do is AP Teemo. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sin Zhao, you were rocking it out. And I would help, but, uh, you know, I've just stayed top all game. While some of you may not see the value in that strategy, hopefully you can see how the lanes kind of turned out, and how I've avoided ganks, haven't died once. Um, it, it does pay off. And of course, if their whole team had come up, it would be a little bit more difficult. But at that point, hopefully my whole team would then aid me. Oh, well, that's surrender. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. Uh, let me know what you think about the live calm doing the whole road to higher ELO. And be sure to leave a comment telling me what I can do better and what I have done terribly in this match, if anything. I felt like it was a pretty solid game three. Um, I will see you guys in the next game. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.